Tonight we're in mood for some craft beer. We're going to open Baladin, or it's maybe open Baladin, I'm not sure. They serve many, uh, like 40, 50, maybe even more sorts of craft beer with non-Italian food with Italian take. So we're probably gonna have a burger and some Italian craft beer. This place is the Roman craft beer heaven. Now, only until not so long ago, ordering a beer in Italy pretty much meant getting a Peroni. Italian beer production and beer tastes have come a long way since those days. Here, you'll find just about any world beer, but for the most part, produced in Italy. And let me tell you, some of them have real cool names. Cheers. Oh, salute. <laughs> So this lovely thing here is patate. To be honest, I have no idea why they call it patate. Patate would be potatoes. Patate. Anyway, in this specific kind, there are like several different kinds. And this one is with pecorino cheese and pepper. So it's another take on uh, cacio e pepe. So patate, cacio e pepe. This thing here comes with the patty, a pesto di pistacchio, which is a pistachio cream, pecorino, some special kind, oh, I'm not familiar with it, ham, San Giovanni, and some, uh, um, looks like real dry tomato, looks delicious. Now let me introduce you to the Spazzacamino burger. It comes with beef patty, with grilled um, bacon, speck grigliato, melanzane aroste, which is baked eggplant, ricotta infornata, baked ricotta, barbecue sauce, mayo, and smoke dried eggplant. Now, let's taste it. and the ingredients were first class. And you can clearly see that Italians had fun making this burger. We had our burgers and a couple of beers and that's fine. They have delicious desserts here. And more so, they have a beer-based champagne. I know it sounds weird. When you're here, give it a try.